love this little book. Been, I've had it for ages now. Good afternoon. I've had it for ages and I just found it in one of my boxes that I'm sorting out. And uh, it's just coming down, but it's mammy and my book binding stuff. But yeah, I really love it. It's got like little bits in it that are really crap. <laughs> and I mean, I, I like that sort of stuff. I like that one. I do like that one because I love the, the way the words are coming through it. But it's like stuff like this really needs working on and stuff. It's great to work on this paper, you know. It really is. It really is nice to work on. So not what you think. Absolutely not what you think. See what I mean about a black pen? So not what you think. See, this is nice. This is when I was doing some work for some stamps. And I was at, um, oh my goodness me. Oh. I keep wanting to say Eden Hall, but it's not. Oh, it's where Henry VIII had his big hall. And um, that was the Tudor Rose. And it was on all the, you know busts and things like that. that was really interesting so I really like these anyway anyway let's have a quick look at who's here hello everybody we've got Sylvia Philippa Linda Sonia Linda Sue Wendy Emma Marcia Mary Orsa I hope I'm pronouncing that right Um. Madure. So a big hello to everybody. Oh, good. That's brilliant. I, I really like that. I might start doing that. I mean, here's the other one. I'm really getting attached to this. I'm really getting attached to this, and I'm, I can't. You'll know it when you when it happens to you that you get attached to your book, and it becomes like I took it everywhere with me this morning because I have loads of chores to do, and I had to. We've only got the one car, as you know, and I had to sort of do up running around because I've got to get ready for the other car and, and sorting it all out. So I just had to go and get it MOT. I've not got it done. I had to get all other stuff done, like the wheels, four wheels. It cost, it thought it cost so much, but the lad there was great anyway. So, yeah, I went and uh, did all that this morning. So from 9 o'clock this morning, I was in the middle of Manchester, but it's all good, all good. I want to do more of these. I like these. I like the colour thing and then just as a little like that. And then you know what you're doing. You you're actually um, you're actually using. Sorry, I'll just go and get me a uh, duff, me duffs, uh, me paint. Oh, I found me really old ones as well. I'm so happy about that. So happy. I found these. Now I've got these. Oh, these were a, nearly a week's wages. These. Look at that. Nearly a week's wages. Forgot I had them. I shouldn't even be doing this. What am I doing? Not even setting it up. Just showing you what I'm doing. I'm just messing. I'm messing. No, I don't want gold because that it isn't gold, is it? So let's go for. Yeah, we do want gold. What we're talking about? Right. So. That's it. Just, you know, brush marks, using them with great brushes. This is in my set. This is the detailer. And it's a two. It's a really good one by the SAA. Oh, let's sort that out. That's leaving it in water. If it bends up, they're an asshole to pay, to pay. This is these are nice. These are a German make. Um and these are the bigger versions, but I really do like them. Um Right, okay. So 
Hello, Linda and Linda. Oh, Francoise, are you joining in? Hi, Karen. Hi, Sally. I'm so pleased. Do you know what I think of? Only... Oh, don't start that. I think I've only ever spoken to Francoise or seen her once. Come on. Right, give me some writing. Don't be starting that. I'm not in the mood for you now. Give me some writing. See if it picks up on that now. Well. Sorry guys, it will come back in a moment, it's just being a... Can I get the uh... camera? Camera? No, it won't let me move it over. Um... Right, let me try something. Yes! Yes! Quick, cut your hand there. Right. Oh. Fapping about there. Hi, Val. Of course you can, Marcia. You don't need to ask me that. We're all part of it. Marcia, we want you to link ours mental health week with yours and then ours with yours so that we're doing Monday to Thursday and then Friday with you. So yeah. So anyway, as I was going into Manchester, they've got the graphene, the big new billions and billions of pounds worth of buildings. And one of the images, can you just see I did that on that? One of the Im images was on the windows and it really, really did get to me. Oh, see, all my research. I've been doing tons of it since yesterday. Tons and tons. Really enjoyed it. So, um, I was really interested in the building itself. Yes, we did, Francois, we did. I remember that was it, wasn't it? That was it. You've always liked your stuff. And you're very you're a very quiet lady in a nice way. And, you know, and at that point there was tons of different sort of characters all with creative expressions, weren't there? So yeah, it was like there were so many people, it was hard to know everybody. Well, I didn't know anybody, never mind everybody. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some cellular work because the format of it just, it just inspired me. Um, hello, Elaine. Hooray. Right. So, and Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. I know what it's like. So the format of the cells, and it's not just the cells. It's really amazing stuff. Like you can't um, explain it, but it's under the scanning, um, electron scanning microscopes and stuff. And it's really interesting because it's, everything is detailed. Now you see me, probably see me do some, I've, sh I've shown you the work I do on the um, scanning electron mic. So it's like nothing new, obviously, I don't want to bore you, but um, it was just so interesting that it's now on a the wall there, and I was like, oh, sorry, a window, and I was like, that is so nice. And it's the beauty of things that we don't normally think of as beautiful. You know, when when, when you look at them, the, the you know, the, the merest sort of, Look at them. That's something the um oops, what's the word? That's my fault. Uh the mere sort of picture and you think, oh that looks awful. But when you start to sort of break it down and look at how it's made, it's like suddenly, oh my god, yeah, that is amazing. And the patterns and it's like chaos, the order in chaos. And I've got a book about chaos, it's just fantastic. And um it sounds really daft, I know, but and uh, luckily yesterday, um, 
I was doing my research later on and there was a word that it was being translated from a Spanish um, Spanish program about the artist I'm looking at. Oh, might as well just use that. And um, this word plastico came up and uh, I had to go and ask my uh, wonderful nephew who's doing his residency in uh, Madrid at the moment. I think it's Madrid. But anyway, it was amazing how one word can have so many different meanings. Okay. Um, so what I've done is a series of lines and these lines under the microscope, these, cir these circles under the microscope form like, you could call them embryos, but I don't want to get into that, or cell structures or anything like, oh, sorry, five, one of five. Um, but I went up to a nine before when I got the car done. Marcy, you've not put all the 10 prizes from me on, on the studio light. Don't forget, unless you want better pictures, I'll send them you. I'm posting everything tomorrow. Right, so here we've got, I could even try and do it today, if we can get the car back later. Right, so here, so the structures under the microscope, they, they, they're sort of growing like that. And this is like, I was also researching marbling, but proper sumi, sumi ganani, I can't pronounce it, sumi ganani, which is the eastern way of marbling paper. Ooh, bye, bye, Philippa. Right, see you later. Anyway. So it was really interesting to see the, the beautiful crystal breakdown of, of stuff. And it literally sort of just sprung to mind that it was, it was just so beautiful. And like I said, something so menial. has so much beauty when you really look deep and it often is a reflection isn't it you know you've got to see past certain things and then go and then see what happens underneath that so here what I've done is it's like do you know the what you call it it's in a Oh, like it all oh, way, uh, that was a bit. Now, I'm not too worried about that, but if you want straight lines and, and, and a little bit more sort of control, then fine, do your, do for your way. Um, but I'm not too uh, worried about with the lines. And this is totally different now to what I was going to do. But I'm really happy with this. I think I've shown you in one of my sketchbooks. See my hand catching. See where my hand catches there and it wobbles. Well, which I'd love to do. Don't tell anyone because I know you don't laugh. Don't laugh. A book. I'd love to write a book with videos on how to start your journal. love to do that. I don't think anybody will invite it. Your series of books on how to begin. How to create a page, journal. I mean, it would just be amazing. Just taking my time a little bit more. And these are like, you know, the rings on a tree. That was what I was trying to say. Um, and I'm enlarging it again. And do it. 
You're just being nice. Um, so, I've just done that. And all I've done is a small circle to fit the space. So the spaces aren't, I'm not going to fill everything. I don't want to because I loved, I loved that yesterday. Oh, I loved that yesterday. That's got to be one of my favourites, that. And I think you liked it as well. I've already written a book and I've done um, I've done a pamphlet for someone else and um, I did it for school as well but you know doing doing them on your own with your own publisher is a different thing I've created journals for and I mean as in written journals for skills and documents I used to call it assessment for learning and stuff and pedagogy so I have written before, but that was under the um, Ofsted and that bad word, Ofsted and um, the AQA and Edexcel and stuff, the exam boards and initial teacher training. But like, this is different. This. I think looking at how people react to work, I personally think it would be better to do a series of like little books rather than try and do one massive one where you can collect what you want. Like you could do, hello, Malcolm. Hello, Glenice. Hi, Sonia. Oh, are you new? Are you new? No way, Sonia. Are you new to journaling? No way. Well, that I am shocked. Brand new to journaling. No way. That shocked me. That in a good way. I would have thought you've been doing it a lot longer. Wow. I'm not sure about that shape there, but we'll see, we'll see, keep it. Right, so what happened in this building, the cell structure, what I saw, was amazing because it was like split. Now I did some fibre work where um, I sort of ripped the fibres apart, made holes in it and then um, stitched lines on it and it did look like microscope I was looking at microscope I've got very interested in it so here it's just going to be very wouldn't have to be perfect because I'm not worried about it being perfect but this is more sort of controlled like that so we've already got two in there and across here so that's not me to put two in, in something, so. C3 to me looks much better now, but it's not for everybody. It doesn't matter, anyway, it doesn't matter, do what you want to do. I just, this is the book we're going to, um, we. I'm going to be making, can you see? It's quite easy. This is a sewn in book. The one I'm going to be creating is a, uh, the other one I'm going to be making is a 
What do they call it? Um, perfect binding or something. Where it's individual leaves. So, can you see what I'm doing? Hopefully, is it okay? No way! No, you're all winding me up now. Are you not, do you not journal? Well, can I ask you? Can I ask you, please? Um, um, is journaling what you thought it was going to be? Or did you have a different opinion of it? Or has it, and I don't want, I'm not asking for compliments at all, I don't want that. But has it, you know, what was your view before? What did you think? And what is your view now? I'm very interested in it, totally interested. What? Tell you that's that's wow. That's really shocked me. Right. Okay. Well. Well, what about? I mean, I've got the colour classes and stuff, but what about? A little cheapy, not cheap as in cheap and nasty, but a cheap like journaling video, how to start a series of like, only for a few quid, you know, hour long tutorials where I go through it step by step. What about a subscription, a Patreon one where you can get all that? And it starts at a pound a year, a pound a month, not a year. So you don't get the structure. You still don't get it. I think not being rude to you, Karen, because I know how detailed your work is, and I know how particular, especially with your graphic design background. But I think without being rude. I think it's overthinking it that is the problem and maybe that is your issue as well. You shouldn't be stressed journaling, it should be the last thing you are. Right, what I'm doing now is, right, just let me explain because I've just waffled on forever. So I did the circles and then I did the lines that followed like in um, the idea of trees um, and the lines and, and how they go and divert around a shape. So, and then there was these shapes left, so I put some small circles. Now I'm building them up, and I'm building up, up bigger around it, so there's a pattern forming. So I'm filling the shape as best I can. And only putting it where it show. And this is all from that building this morning. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, if you have something like that, all you do, a bit of paint on it. I haven't got a bit of paint with me. Not. I'll get some gouache in a minute. So, go gouache, gouache. And this simple piece of raffine or whatever it is massive it's amazing graphene amazing stuff um under the microscope how it's all structured and how it all it i don't it's just crazy how, how it's so amazingly versatile and they can make all these different things out of it so it was very much a wow moment many years 30 years ago at least 30 years ago so that's when I started to do this sort of patterning and pattern shaping and forming and um, I was really interested in, in it from a degree. I wanted to do an embroidery one at Manchester as well because that is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely 
the best thing I've ever seen. So here I've got now, I've got this, the cell structure. After I did all that, I filled it with holes. And then I've put these bobbly lines in. And these represent like little uh, veins. So the veins have a, like, it take all the wonderful stuff to the parts that need it so instead of him looking like knobbly knees like cartoon knees i'm filling putting a shape in it so that it looks like that shape is interrupted by that and it's made it sort of bobble if that makes sense here i've just done wobbly lines but here if i don't do something like it looks like there's just like a cartoon bone or knobbly knees and i don't want it whilst i don't mind it being cartoony i don't mind that at all uh, but that's not what I'm aiming for today right one six has anybody done that yet That is amazing, Glee. That's what it would. Diane, that's amazing to hear. Thank you, Jane. Do you know that's a really good thing because um, Jane, who's a good friend of mine, I hope she don't mind me saying that. Uh, um, our journaling experiences have been very, very different in that we've had Diane as an, an, as an influence and, and oh, that's how I met Jane. Wow, Angie, that's amazing. I'd love some of them little slides and do something like this in them. Anyway, so having my breakaway to do journaling like this, I, this is my book now. I don't care what people think about this because it's not nothing to do with them. Not not in a nasty way. I just, I am not asked what they think because it's mine. So when I'm making a book, and I used to make all my own books, I will try and get them out for tomorrow. Uh, when making my old books, it's great because you, you, you take the whole structure of the way through. You make it, create it, develop it, love it, hate it, and then you know before you know it you you can it's like seeing a picture isn't it you can remember what was going on that day and you can sort of attach things to it if you wish um, if you want to get rid of things then so be it you can do that but i love something that i can draw in and i must admit this is one of my favorite journals so far um i can't believe i'm saying that but it is for for light work and it's not it's not crappy paper either right anyway i'll shut up so can you see you've got this molecular um oh do you not know karen you must have missed it started the other day yeah thank you emma emma's done it said it That's nice, I like that. So, see, I, I see, I'm happy with that because it's 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 like this, isn't it? Sometimes I don't like I'm not too these novelty things are real peeing me off. So what I might do is let's see if we can. Oh yes, oh yes. So what I'm doing now is. Yeah, I like this now. Can you see that? I like that now. So I'm using a small circle. And if it's only on one side, then it only gets one side.
now this is more what I want now because even though it's chaos it's structured chaos um, there's order in chaos believe it or not and I just love the idea that I personally just see the flaws in me and I see the good in others well sometimes <laughs> um, and I'm very sensitive and I think this shows because it is a very sensitive thing you know looking deep it's quite prolific looking deep into things and sort of analyzing them and stuff and it's it is really um really deep and it just is a skill that you can transfer to other things so if you want to do it to other other things in your life then you do that as well it's so transferable about looking deep into things and just saying oh right okay um i like that i like that but really looking at it means you develop your own way then so you use like you like someone's use of color texture you like the use of um product you like their their way and that's great using their way only you like their colour, but then you need to get a colour that you love. Do you get me? So you change it to what they their influence, but then what you love. So, Denise, hello, my lovely. Do you like it? It is for creative development is a good way of explaining it, Francoise. Yeah, we are sensitive. We are sensitive. So here I've got like this mismatch of colours and uh, of lines but they're all basically I like just a circle and a line where I've concentrated on pattern formation through chaos now you can paint it I think it'd be really nice to paint it I have actually got my little brushes and I've got my um, I've put the link for these, they're very good because you've got riggers, flats, they're very, very good. They call them my Nick Pro. I think they were a tenner for a 500, no they wasn't. I think there was about £10 for 12 or 15 paintbrushes. They've got an ergonomic grip as well and it's pointing in the right way. I know it sounds daft, but if you get a flat edge and the flat edge it's not pointing that way or that way. It's daft if you've got to hold it. You've got to hold it like that. What's the point of having an ergonomic one? So I'm going to use... I'm going to change it up. Get in. I'm going to put a bit of metallics on. So I'm not using all my metallics. I've got my, my most fabulous, amazing ones, but I'm not getting them out yet. Oh, get them out. No, we'll get them out in a bit. Don't worry, get them out. I just don't want to use them. Right, okay. So I'm looking at the molecular structure of something here. I've just made it up totally random. Um, so I think I'm looking at this green, and I think this green... Now, if you want to, when you're doing work like this, um, you can spray your page as well. But, you know, I'm working on the assumption that you've already done all the testing. So what I'm doing is a line. And then, as I do... Bring the line out. Now, this Secura, I'm very uh, hopeful that I can ask the powers that be in Talons whether we can have this on again with the gouache, 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 whatever you want to call it. Now, it's very, 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 very light. But that's what I want. I don't want it to be overpowering. I want this to be, like, in the background and... Believe it or not, the front in the back and the back in the front. Do you know, I set my camera up so that it's all right and that you're closer to me. 
And when, I co when it comes to it, it just resets. Every time I try and save it, every single time, it's a pain in the bum. So here I'm going dark to light and then dark to light. So it's light in the middle but dark at both edges. And I, I use that term lightly, dark, very lightly. So when it's dry, you can add another another layer like that just to get, oh, I love it. I bought some handmade paints as well. Very expensive. See, that's what I want to do as well. I want to make my own paints. I've not got enough years to do it all. So here, again, the cream of the paper has a big impact on what I'm doing. So, you know, I've got a really soft colour here which is like very different to what I normally use but um it doesn't matter because I want it like this I want I want differences um and I'm using a blue or it looks silver but it's actually a blue and I'm doing the same thing so I'm going round it like that and then just plain water blend it out Again. Yes, me and Emma are same birthday. Twinnies. So I'm using the blue and it actually looks like a bad warp on it there. It is a little bit of a warp. You can see there, there is a bit of a warp, but it's nothing that I'm unhappy about. So I'm using quite cool colours here. Um, And it's adapting and changing, which is something that I really love. Dear, is that a good thing or a bad thing, Alison? <laughs> is it chilling? I hope it is. It annoys some people, which I can understand that. I can understand it, but... Um, Sometimes it's just nice to just forget for a bit. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I love these. I put, like I said, I put the link on. So in the front, it's changing again now. In the front, I've got these light, uh, I've got the metallics. So I've got the greens and the blues. Um, this is the ocean set. No, it isn't. This is the... I've got an ocean set. Um, I'll get you his name, but it's... They sell them on Etsy as well, but I don't know where, so that's why I'm... But I have put all the links on. I think they're Color... Coloraro. Coloraro. Can you see it? Come down, come down, whatever you're at. There we go. So I'll put the light green in there. And it's not visible. I don't want it to be visible. Can you just see? I 
All right, throwing ints out. Throwing in. I love that. I, I'm about as subtle as a brick on the head, me. I, I can't throw ints out. So, right, well, I'm looking at the colour and I'm very, I'm looking at the colour and I am naturally drawn to sepia, I've got to say, and I'm naturally drawn to grey. But I think I'll do it in series of areas, what do you reckon? Let's try it, if it's naff, it's naff. So I'll look for a small area. I'll just check it out first and I might start with that dodgy one there. So I'm using a Payne's Grey and I'm going to go really dark. Almost. Like it's surrounding that, like that. So it wouldn't be that one, it'd be this one. And I'm using it quite strong. And I'm doing this because it's like I'm trying to get it up more opaque than I would normally do it. But what I'm trying to do is create like the illusion of it being behind. I hope that makes sense. Did you get me? Thank you, Sonia. I'll get you on, Linda. I'll get you on. I'll ask the boss at Secura. I've been working with him for many years now. I've got a talent show coming up. Um, I'll ask for this journal if you want. Right, so what I'm doing now is, is creating a backdrop. Now, you don't have to do this at all. I'm using Payne's Grey, and it won't go black, but it goes as near as I want it to black. But you can, you don't. Don't think you can't use you can use a black marker you could use a pencil you could use anything to get your depth um, and just create where you want it because the circles allow you to do that There we go. Bring it up a bit more. And do you know what? It's. I mean, I absolutely love my moodling. I don't know what I'd do without it. But it's quite strange now how it's moved on. Um, but normally I move on. Even with people, I move on and, and leave it behind me. But I've not left it behind me. Just to, it's so strong this desire to moodle it's not actually left me I've developed it but not at the point where I wouldn't go back and do it how I did it with the bright colours you know and I think that's important because I haven't abandoned it but it's nice to develop but I don't want to lose that because that's to me it's really important it's an important aspect of my work And people might say, well, that, well what, what, what's it for? What's this for? It doesn't have to have a use. It doesn't have to have anything. It's yours. It's your get out of jail. I <laughs> don't know what that saying means. Well, I do. Of course I do. But... Right, so I've got this debt happening. 
Um, just going to bring it in a little bit here. Just I had two massive, massive, massive boxes, a chanda boxes, uh, store craft store boxes, black ones. They, you know, massive like crates. Do you remember them buddy boxes that you got when they first come out? Well, I had three of them out of my car, um, and. Because it's got, this one's got to have its MOT and everything. I had to clear it all out and go through the boxes and, you know, I've gone from having no pens to hundreds of them. And, uh, I'm quite surprised. At how much they hold as well. But it's, I've got it all done as well, so chuffed, I've got it all, you know, tidied up so that it now, look, I can see the samples I've got, and it's great because I've got some of the samples in the, because I, I leave a lot at a chander, some of the samples I've got now match up with the shells I've got coming up, which is perfect. So here I'm just going over the dots, and I think this grounds it a little bit, which I like. Not to do them all. So you get the colours now, and you get the depth. So it's only natural now that we'll go to a bit of... I think the next colour we go to is it's got to be a bit of sepia. And you can see how it... I'm watering it down. And then I'm using the spaces. Oh, it's a bit dark. Bit water. A bit dark, a bit water. Oh, no, that's not the right colour. So I'm looking now at the colours near the greys, the paint grey. I'm just using it as a little wash. Now a pencil shading would look really cool. I know what colour would look amazing with this. Orange and teal. One colour again. Orange and teal would just look amazing. You can't really see this, so, but it's there. And it's your rules, how, how you're putting it on here. So whatever you think, if that should be there, then it's that's the right place for it. So if you think, oh, I've gone wrong, you haven't, because you can't go wrong, because there's no plan with it. There's an idea, but no plan. You can plan till you're blue in the face, but it don't work. If it all goes pear shape, then it, your plan's gone out the window, hasn't it? So, great reliever in just having an idea or a you know a sort of plan, an outline, not not to the point where every second's counting. You can do that when you've done a, an example of it and sort of you've tried it and tested it. That's what I tend to do. But then if I've done it before, I don't tend to test that much. I tend to, ooh, a bit dark. I tend to sort of take it for a test drive and change it. So what I mean by that is I sort of think, oh, well, what about if I do this? Oh, that'd be nice. What about that? And I do that sort of thing. Right, just decided that that's going to be dark there so just taking it off so we've got a little bit of the sepia now inside just reading some comments can you ask the secure boss for a job look <laughs> Yes, I know. So 
So, yeah, it does, doesn't it, Linda? Yeah. Card making is brilliant. I love card making because you could do this and put this on a card. But it doesn't just have to be for that. This is one of those that if you took one section of it and blew it up and coloured it in and put it on a card, it'd look amazing. This would look great if you wanted to decoupage it and cut circles out and layer them up. So there's loads of different little ways of doing it. You just, you've just got to make sure that it's, you know, what you want to do and enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it it's a chore and if it's a chore that's it you only do it because you have to right that is oh thank you no Mary I understand that you, you see that's great because doing something for yourself is really important we tend to just do it for everybody else don't we so here i'm going to put on a little bit of magenta not magenta it's a crimson and i'm not sure about this color so what i might do is just do what we call a, an accent color because it should be it might be that it needs it a bit darker um it's 60 30 10. so if i say that the the accent color being the um, metallics and the red that make up 10% of it so I'm looking at that now and I think down here I mean it might get to the point later where I think no I want more red but at this point I don't And you can add as much as you want or make it as fiery or as warm or as cool there we go quite like that see i think that's that's worked now whereas before i was like oh what's happened oh well keep going with it keep going and you'd be you'd be surprised so we've got three areas in the blue uh, in that so we're going to brighten it up and we're going to add some ochre because i think ochre is one of the most underrated colors going and it's just got so much to give but we, we we tend to think oh it looks like diarrhea but it's actually a really useful and important color because it's it it gives depth and, and brightness but without being overly bright because some bright yellows and that they're just too bright too vivid too vibrant not vivacious well it could be if it wanted to vivacious colors quite nice isn't it let's have a vivacious color today so i've got the three areas so i'm looking at this area here getting messy now so I need to calm down and then I'm looking at orange this is the Sennelier orange which is one of my favorites see how it's building up this warmth of color and yet the blue and the green and the coolness these are the very big ones and don't forget you don't have to cover everything. I'm a sod for that. Thinking you have to, clear, you know, everything on the paper has to be. It doesn't. It doesn't. You don't have to fill the paper. You can leave the colour of the paper there, or put masking fluid on, which is another good idea. That really does do wonders with your work. And I'm using a different value of colour, um, a de different depth. So some more watery than others so I'm just adding it here you can see that and that are the same colour but a different weight I'm, I'm, I love this one today I love this one I'm so pleased that I, I, I got inspired by that 
picture window. It's funny, isn't it, how, you know, up to 50 years ago, or maybe even more, less, whatever, um, it would have been, a picture window would have been more in the realm of um, boats on the water or, you know, flowers and stuff like that. And whilst that's wonderful, and I do adore leaded windows and stuff, it's funny how the theme for windows now has taken on the idea of molecular structure and stuff. It just seems quite strange, doesn't it? Sometimes when I talk about colour, I suppose it could be a bit confusing when I say about the weight of colour, but I think by actually showing you like doing it like this, you get the idea better. Well, I know I'm a visual learner and I know a lot of other people are, but the weight of colour, you know, some people might get it straight away, but others might take longer and that's good. Don't matter. It's like dry test, taking your test. You're ready when you're ready. Oh, I had a bad do with my first one. I, I met, um I lost, I, I failed my first test because I blamed it on the guy, my driving examiner. Um, he had a glass eye and a wig, right? I don't know how he was a driving instructor, never mind an examiner. Um, yeah, he had, a, he, he had a glass eye or an eye that was very different to the other one. You're not late, Kath. No, I haven't. I need some of that then, do I? That's crafty liquid wax. Oh, see you later. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, you can do that. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, my driving test. So, he says to me, when I top, but hit the dashboard or whatever, yeah, he did say hit the dashboard. I want you to stop as if there's a child in front of you. So, comes to it. I didn't know when he was going to do it. So, we did it. And I sort of stopped, but not very fast. And he says to me, I'm sorry to tell you that at the end of it, he says, I'm sorry to tell you that you failed. You failed on your emergency stop. And he says, um, which is a shame because you did it well. And I was like, oh, right. And he said, what happened? And I said, oh, I was worried. I said, um, well, if you want me to be honest, it was you. And he said, why? What do you mean? He said, I said, I was worried that if I, if I stopped too fast, your wig and your eye might come out. So I'm glad I didn't say that before the test because I really wouldn't have passed then ever. And then lo and behold, wouldn't he my second one as well? So oh, I was like, really? So I went in the toilet, I when I knew it was him for the second one, I went in the toilet, changed my parting, put my glasses on, you name it, you know, trying not to look like I was before. And uh, I passed the second one. I think he'd used good glue on that wig because it didn't come off when I did an emergency stop. And um, I thought, I've got away with it. And he went, oh, he said, it's nice to see you again. Oh, my ass dropped and tell him that because I thought, oh, he does remember me. But he hadn't, you know, it hadn't swayed his, his uh, very good um, teaching and sort of assessment. He didn't have a go at me because I was worried about his glass eye and his wig. That's true, that. Wait, how, how could anyone make that up? That's hilarious. I mean, hilarious to think. It's not hilarious because the poor man probably didn't want anyone to know that he had a glass eye and a wig. But it was quite off. And it was, I'm going back a bit, so they look like more like rugs, the wigs there. Nowadays, they're very good, aren't they? Like, and uh, false teeth back then used to come out when people talked to you. But nowadays, they're very good. They're all welded in now, aren't they? So... Yeah, it was a little bit different then, you know. It was like you could spot the syrupies miles away. And I don't think, I think it, there's a real, uh, no, on a serious point, there is a real need for them. Um, 
and good ones because I've noticed how, you know, as you get older, uh, women lose a lot of their hair, you know, especially being, you know, an hair stylist once. So, but yeah, he was, um, his, his wasn't a good one. And I was very embarrassed because I think he was quite attached to his, I think he could have got a different eye. It reminded me of, uh, what's it called? Harry Potter. Professor Moody. Anyway, yeah, so, but I passed the second one, which is very good. I was very happy about that because I passed the second one. So, yeah. Right, I'm just putting ordinary paint on here and I'm using my blue, which is my Prussian blue, the colour of choice. Indigo is another good one to use. Um, some brands have their own name. There are brands that I'm really drawn to. Um, I love Core by Golden. I love my Paul Rubens. Absolutely love my Paul Rubens. I love Winter and Newton. I love Talons. I just, I'm a bit sad. I like them all. But there, I've got a little bit darker. But what I want to do is just put this purpley colour on the top so that although it's blue, it's still in keeping with the. Now, what you can do rather than just do the mixing later. Uh, on top like this see I quite like the way that it shifts it underneath whereas when you do it the other way mix it on the palette and then apply it you get I'll show you what I mean I'm going to do another blue one up here so if I put a little bit of the blue in here and when you use using metallics use different water to plain because what you don't want is you don't want to contaminate it's very easy to contaminate it so here I'm going to use the white or pearl or whatever colour it is I'm just going to take a little bit I've not used all of it can you see let me just put the hand there I'm going to use the teeny weeny bit see how strong it is so then we'll see a different colour again and don't forget it's watercolour so what happens is this is reactivated if I want to to use it again and keep it on my palette so I'm just wetting this first now because it's got a bit of a different consistency I've added the pearl it's good though I love it and I'm using it in a different way so keep this on it keep using it so we've got a bit of blue there and then some of the the big circles I'm going to use the green and the blue and get a tealy colour I had a lovely young, ch a young chat today. I had a lovely chat with the lad who was doing the car today. Lovely, lovely lad. Only young. And um, she's telling me that all the tests that you have to have to do now with driving, I was like, oh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even passed it. I wouldn't have passed it. Because now I'm thinking, you know, all these ones that from years ago I think we only had to I think my mum had to drive two yards and drive no ten yards and then drive back ten yards these uh oh go do some work Francois yeah but I bet it's a nice wig though isn't it I've got a, I've got a, pe a couple of pieces that I have to wear because I'm losing it on the top it's not great uh color colero German mate, Jane. But they weren't, weren't they, Dodger? Are 
exactly. You know what I mean? They weren't great, were they? They weren't great. But, and if they were great, they were mega books. But yeah, it, I think it's so important. And I'm saying this in, in a nice way, certainly not to just take a, take the mick out of people. But um, yeah, it was, that was very much why I was telling you about the driving thing. Because in them days, you could tell, nowadays, it, it's people have extensions and or this, that, the other tattoo eyebrows which i want i think i think i want to get some tattooed eyebrows the only problem is i don't want them to look like they've been drawn on with a sharpie right i'm going to go in now with um uh, see if i don't no i don't want to open them the right way right quite like this one this is it it's, this is like, you know, on your bed, you know, the things on your bed, like the poppy, poppets, this is like them, there we go, I like that, because you can make your own palette then, I'm going to use this one, because I think this, some paint, some of these metallics really soak up the water straight away, and you have to make a bit of a, Um, it's so cool. You have to make a bit of a paste. Now, I'm not going to do them all. But I am going to do them near the grey and the black. So that the others float a bit more. I'm at an eight now. See how it's working that now. I don't know if I want to do it all over. I think it's, I'm quite happy just messing. See, I've got rid of that now. This guy can't have fiddle. Right, so here I've got quite a, a dense population there. I've got a little bit here that I'm going to put in dark. I'm really loving this. I know you I know that sounds really big -headed. So I've got my painting done. We've done that again in an hour and a little bit. And I'm just it always amazes me when I can get the stuff done and you're like, How did we do that? How on earth did we do that in such a short time? That's just pure madness. Pure madness. So here what we could do is leave it or put a pattern in it. And I quite like the idea of I've got some ink pens. It's your favourite favourite. That's what I want to see, Linda. I want to see that. I want to know what to look for. Because I've seen some right dodgy ones. So... I hope no one's been offended and if you have I do apologise because I'm not making fun of you at all, never. Um, it's just that 
things that arose. I mean, I've had things said to me and people don't realise my background and it's been quite funny. But you've just got to... I think one of my sort of mantras is if you, you've got to have a laugh at yourself. You can't take yourself too seriously, but you, you know, but not at the expense of others. That's what I mean. So, yeah, I'm a... Probably at worst for it. Here, what I'm doing is, I'm just, with my ink pen, I'm just doing, I'll bring it up closer. And I quite like the density and Can you see? See, I love that. And then So anyway, the driving instructor saw it. What else was it telling you? Oh, very nice lad who did the tyres. Uh, and he's got to wait eight months to get... And yet he's, he works in a garage. He was only a young lad, but he's been dealing with cars all his life. It's a good company as well. I can recommend the black circles they are for tyres. Yeah, I can... Thoroughly recommend them. And uh, I'm not affiliated. I don't get any money, don't worry. I'll always tell you if I do. Oh, get lost. Right. And he, yeah, he was telling me that you have to have a virtual a virtual driving test where you react, they, they measure your reactions. I tell you what, if they didn't measure my react, reactions when that girl got out of that first in wit there, I'd have been off the charts with my reactions. Still, it, uh, do you know what? I had a nightmare thinking about her the other day. That's when I talked to you about her, I told you. Stupid woman. Sorry, I don't normally talk like that, but this woman nearly was stupid. What are you going to tell your kids? Oh, mummy and daddy like to live in coffins. Wow, that's a difficult conversation to have, isn't it? No. It's a bit like we used to get vegetarians in school, which is a great idea, and vegans. But they insisted that everything about their child was vegan and yet, you know, the woman disappeared, they'd come back from the shop with a pepper army. Do you know what I mean? And it was the parents and it's like that sort of deceit is a bit It's a bit like this journal in that you gotta find your own or oh, someone someone's messaging me, can you hear them dinging? Either that or I've upset someone. I can't apologise enough if I am. Certainly not meant. But I have got two wigs up. Well, pieces. Right. So what I've done is I've filled them with circles and that's the image I really like. Um, you could even go as far as you know, smaller and smaller and smaller. So, and this is very meditative. I'm bringing brush out to the shows um, in a few week in a week. Can't wait. Um, a very 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 old favourite of mine we used to use it in school all the time oh it was a right once the kids realised what what you could do with it oh like me and magnesium and water in the science department oh I was banned got in big trouble for that 
went in the prep room and got all the magnesium out there and just evacuated the building with it. It just set the lot on fire. Stupid girl. Well, that's what happens when you dart there, the pikey. Right. So, this part, I'm just keeping me quiet. I'm just going to have to keep quiet because I'm just digging big holes for myself here. I'm just really worried in case I've upset anybody. Right, I'm going to finish it here. So, a lot of detail on that. I've left parts white. But if I flick it that way, can you see? You've got this lovely sort of coolness of the front ones and then warmth in the back. It's all slightly mechanical. Um, I think I need to do this one as well. Yeah, it's got a very sort of industrial feel, mechanical. And again, it, I mean, you think about the chaos and the order and the window I was looking at. I'll try and get a picture of it tonight when I go and pick him up. But it's such an important building. I might get arrested for being a spy or something. So I'll have to be a bit careful taking pictures. It's not, I think it's etched on. It's not like leaded. It's a massive, like the whole side of a building job. That's massive, but great if it's inspiring. So there, I hope you've enjoyed that. Yeah, well, I'm brushing off my techniques for brush holes. I probably forgot more than I remember. Oh, that's true. Well, here we've got quite a different page. Um. I think I've loved doing it. I love doing them all. I can't say I don't. And I love the way that they all start one way and then go another. And that, I think, is the thing that really makes it for me. Um, and as I say, you might, a lot of people think I wing it. And I do to a point. But all the planning is there, it's just that I plan an outline but not the whole thing so whilst it looks like I'm winging it, I'm not actually winging it we're just adapting it and sometimes I have to be able to do that because if somebody phones up or emails and says can we have a look at that you've got to be able to just change your plan and if you're making a specific card or a project and someone asks you a question about another one that's you've got to be able to just drop everything and change it so it does have a few downsides but if you can do it it's all better so i put the darkness in there which i really like i think maybe some of these just need little No, not all of them. I'm start. I'm off. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Just one or two. That I'll just leave it at that one. Just to make that one different. Yeah. Sorry, if you're wondering what this is, is just. Um, just going over my notes for my book binding and then how to attach Wenzu paper or Chinese calligraphy paper and then about tanning leather because I'll be doing leather down journey right so I'm happy with that different to it's a lot looser than what I thought which I'm really happy about actually 
um, really happy with the connection that I made this morning on that window to this. It looks better closer up. Um, yeah, it does. I'm really, really happy. I think I, I will, however, when I'm bored or... I love, I love, 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 love this book. I'm going to ask the UK manager can we have him when I'm bored this is the sort of book that I can have in my handbag because like most of us now we take a reusable bag everywhere don't we and I think that's a good idea so we'll ask him to get these on I don't think they're that dear anyway I'll shut up and get off right so I'm going to go into my room for 10 minutes but it really is only 10 minutes because I can't leave this crap everywhere I'll get mad Um. Oh, thank you, everybody. Everybody, so appreciate it. I'm going to go into my room, so I will speak to you later. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Yeah, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Ten and two. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And um, hopefully. And take care and do the love stuff thing.